This is the background switcher by Unlimited Elements. Hi and thanks for joining. It's a meet from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the background switcher by Unlimited Elements. I'm going to search for the widget background switcher, drag it inside. And first of all, I'll explain what it does. It's just a couple of columns. In each column, you can have a title, a description, and a button. And when hovering over each one of these, it replaces the background for all of them, which creates a really cool layout. You can show products, services, features, whatever you want with this. It can be a hero part or a small different part in uh, your home page or inner page. And I'm going to take you over the settings that we set you up with. So first of all, before I start, I'm going to touch a couple of Elementor settings. So I'm going to edit the section, change it to full width, and that's looking better. In the column, I'm going into advanced, and I'm going to take off the padding. So uh, we get a really cool full width effect. Next thing, I'm going to edit the widget and over here we can determine the height in pixels or in VH. VH is like percent. It's viewport height. It means the height of your browser, the current height of your browser. So I'm just going to change that to VH and instead of 500 I'm going to write 100. Now this is full height. No matter what size the browser will be and this widget will be full height of the browser, which is really cool. Other, th other settings we have are overlay. The overlay is uh, the color that's overlaying the um, image. Right now it's a really transparent black color, just so we can see the text a little bit better. Border color is the border between these columns. You can change it to whatever you want. This is also a very transparent white, just to make it subtle. Space under title, space under description, under the title, under description, and we have padding. Padding for the button and padding for the content. So, for example, if I'll make this bigger, it will make the uh, padding around the content bigger. Hover duration is how long it takes for this effect uh, to transform uh, between each other. And we have item width on mobile, which I need to explain. I'll explain that later. Let's jump into style. In style, we have all the typography parts for the title, description, and button. For example, I'll enable the typography for the title. I'll change it to a different font. And I can play around with the font size. Everything is simple and easy. Going back into content, Let's change the layout to vertical. This means one under the other instead of one next to each other. And I'm going to change the item height to 25% because I have four items. And this is the layout of the vertical style. Let's close the general settings. In item settings, we have the items themselves. So if you want, you can duplicate items. You can edit items. As you can see, each item has an image, which is the image that shows behind all of the items when hovering over it. Very cool. And let's turn this back into horizontal pixels and give this a value. Perfect. Looking good going to update and I'm going to jump into my browser by previewing because I want to show you how this looks on responsive and the best way to see responsive is to inspect with your browser and what I wanted to show you here is that instead of stacking them one under the other we turn we turn this into sort of like a carousel which you can um, you can navigate using your touch on your phone now, if you click on an item, it will focus on that item and will show you the text in the button. And then if a user wants, he can click on the button, which will open a link or whatever you want. So that was a quick over overview of the background switcher by Unlimited Elements. I hope you like it and see you next time.